Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be checking out the performance video for Psyker's Bittersweet. Now, we recently reacted to the Witch music video, which was so cool. I, I loved it very conceptually, and I loved how uh, menacing and powerful it was. It felt like a giant warning sign, and I am gonna be doing a listening party for this album, but before I do, I figured I would do just a blind reaction for this performance video. Oftentimes I check out the performance video after the listening party, but the listening party will have a bunch of other songs for me to react to. So I wanted to react to this one blind. So let's check out Bittersweet, shall we? Now when it comes to their performance videos, I'm usually a huge fan. Loved Kung as well as Red Sun. I don't know if it's going to be the same intense level, but we'll see. <sighs> Visually very cool. Say, this is like a Macklemore drum beat. Wow. That vocal part during this pre-chorus is amazing. It's incredible. that cloud vortex that they're always dancing in. like a horror movie house. They talk about running away, you know, giving a warning again, playing on the warning that they were giving within which. Oh, oh my goodness. All righty. 
Um, that was fantastic. Okay. Uh, I can definitely say that I'm a casual Zykers fan. All right. I have listened to all the albums and I have loved every single title track that they have released. Okay. But it is to my point of I, man, I, I already love so many K-pop groups and I don't need another group to get into. It's just, there's so much capacity taking up my brain already. And I become so resistant, but that's hard nowadays because I feel like so many groups are fantastic. So many groups are great performers. They're really gutsy with some of their styles, and Zykers is definitely one of them. And I think I have been extremely resistant for a really long time, even though, God damn it, I I feel like when it comes to Zykers, I love their title tracks. I think they're... They, they pack one hell of a punch, and then there's always one B-side off the album where it just makes me lose my absolute shit. Uh, as I mentioned, Kung and uh, Red Sun are my particular favorites. And Bittersweet, this is the one that won me over. But it's not for the same re- It's not for the reason that I thought it would be. It's almost because they, I personally think, just from this observation it feels like they inversed what they usually do so it feels like bittersweet should have been the title track and i think bittersweet it's a very colorful song and i think it's a lot more catchy and repetitive than which actually is and i think bittersweet it's it's a little bit more memorable in that way a little bit more of an earworm um and there's something very triumphant about the chorus. Uh, uh, I think the drum pattern is very, very memorable. I think it catches your attention immediately. And it's just got all the elements of like, this is a great title track. And I think playing off of like their previous um, their previous title tracks, I think this would have been a great follow-up. But I actually think that's why I love it so much. I think I find it so much more ambitious that they made Witch the title track. I think Bittersweet is what you would have expected from a Zyker's title track, but for them to go with Witch, and I think especially the lyrical connotation of Witch, and I think that hits a little bit harder. And I think... I think... In a usual scenario, which would have been that B-side? Which would have been the Kung and the Red Sun, uh, the rock star, the, the, the B-side of, of the video where uh, it's a very catchy but cool and very, um, very uh, stylish but also rap-heavy um, uh, B-side track. But rather, they made that bittersweet. And I think that makes for a very interesting turn. I think just because bittersweet is catchier and so why wouldn't you make that the title track right but i think the fact that they went with which gets so much respect from me and it makes me love it a lot more um and uh it makes me even more excited for the album and the hype the hype it's time that i learned their names uh beyond just hunter because his name's hunter how can I forget a name like Hunter? But uh, I got to give everybody kudos in this. So give me a sec. Okay. So first off, I'm going to give kudos to my man. Let's cut over real quick. To my man, Minjay, over here. Um, I don't know why uh, I, I've had such trouble remembering his name. I know he's the leader. I know he's the main rapper. Uh, and he's my favorite. He's to me, he's the scene stealer. Like th- that's the thing about Zykers. I think so many of these members stand out. They're all so colorful, but I think he's the scene stealer. I think he's a monster and I, I love him. And frankly, as far as Korean names go, Binja is a pretty easy name to remember. Uh, but I think just the old noggin can only retain so much information, but, uh, <laughs> After this one, uh, good Lord, I'm going to commit it to memory because I feel like he absolutely cannibalized this entire song for me with his uh, outrageous rap section. I was literally thinking in my head, 
I saw him at the beginning of the video, and I have basically never seen him again. Where is he? Why is he not getting a part? We've already done multiple rap parts. He's not going to have another verse, right? And then, good lord, the way he leads into the outro was really epic. Um, uh, I also want to give just, uh, oh my goodness, these photos are not helpful for me telling who is who. Oh, no. Oh, I think it's Hyonu. I think Hyonu's vocals are really, really dope. I think Hyonu was one of my uh, favorite aspects of uh, this song, uh, especially that pre-chorus that he does. Uh, Hyonu is fantastic. Um, there's this like one part where he whispers in, oh, there he is, just real quick. I, I really love his part. He like goes like slightly higher. Oof. I like his tone in general too. I think he has a really nice vocal tone. He's also always really memorable in uh, Zyker's music videos. I believe that is. I believe that is. I believe that is, I think, Jinshik. Is it Jinshik or Chunjin? But I think that's Jinshik. He's very, very, I think, charismatic as a performer. Very memorable. And I love, I, I think Hunter always brings such an interesting, like, energy to his performances. But I think, especially here, there's a little bit of, like, a flamboyantness that is not present necessarily in the song too much but i think he brings in the performance and then it kind of like bakes into the song and so i can't unhear the song without seeing this and without seeing this energy so it brings something completely new to the song as well it's one of those rare cases where it's not the music video that adds i feel like something special to the song it's the member themselves and I don't even hear it in the audio, but it's like their performance enhances the song even more. Uh, but I think that's a case that happens quite often with Hunter for me. Uh, you know what? Let's just, <laughs> I want to hear this again. What's that ball say? I don't know. I do not think it's possible for me to. Something road. Might be radical road. Medical roads. Medical probably doesn't make any sense. But that's tight. Mm. Everyone wearing black and only Minji wearing the yellow. Mm. Oof. These drums, man. Oof. 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 I love his energy. I love his energy. Oh, I love his energy. I love his energy so much. Oh, I believe that is actually... That's got to be... Man. Oh, my God. There's so much to scroll. That might be... Jumin, I think so, with the color in his hair. Okay, I, 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 I love Jumin's energy. It's just freaking powerful. I think his energy here, you know, he's he always brings such, I feel like, uh, Sumin. Uh, he always brings such, I, I personally think, a very playful and naughty energy about him. But I think it's it's even more awesome here because of how he behaves right here. Like his like he always smiles, and but his smiling and his and his cheekiness, the way he plays it here. Mercy. 
and then the way like he's being pulled away but still smiling as this like big mo arachnid monster is like trying to reach him there's something very crazy about that there's a little bit unhinged about that that i think really really his usual crazy energy is enhanced more than usual i love it God. The whispering into that high vocal part is so addictive. Whispering part from Seun, I believe. You know, that part is, it's a bit more subtle, but I love this part right here. After his part, I was expecting Minja's portion, which never came. Doesn't come until much later. That was really surprising. God, I love that choreo. It looks like a monster unfurling. I mean, frankly, with a lot of the B-rolls that they toss in here, this might as well just be a music video. They could have just titled this a music video rather than a performance video. I think the fact that they title it a performance video is just an additional flex then. Because really, since their debut, I mean, since Rockstar, I feel like their performance videos have always gone above and beyond, haven't they? Uh, but Bittersweet, I think, really takes the cake. It takes it up a notch. It's incredible. God, so much CG too. Like quite literally, the only reason this isn't a traditional music video. Oh my God, I got to not talk during his part. Oh my God, wait a minute. Do you see that shit? Oh my God, this is why I love Minja. I'm committing it to memory. No, look at him. Look at his expression. Kid's a monster. I love him so much. He's a beast. Oh my God. The energy he brings to this is next level. Ah. Oh. But uh, what was I saying? Uh, no, who cares anymore? Oh, I got to see this. Oh, I remember now. The only thing separating this from an actual official music video is the fact that they show too much quote unquote dance. Uh, if they showed like maybe 20% less dance, literally this would just be an official music video. It's already so decked out. All right. <laughs> Oh, it's like the Venom symbiote. His, this like thunderous rap roaring part, and then this higher key, like screaming singing is epic. I can't even go that high. I love this. I love this so much. It's so addictive. I think after Minja's part, this is my second favorite part. I love how they overtake the darkness with that gust of wind. That's really good. So visually cool. I can't I can't get over it. 
God. His acting, Taylor, I believe, his acting during this part is so powerful. You know, for a performance video, I feel like I'm watching, I'm, I feel like I'm watching theater. There's so much commitment there, and I love it. Oh. And it's with his acting. As he consumes it, the jump and kick as the whirlwind comes in. Oh, it's incredible. <sighs> incredible. 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 Oh, my God. I... Love bittersweet so much. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. Uh, I th I I think this is why this of all the things to really turn me on to Zykers, I think it's the fact that they debuted with their music was honestly just S class out the gate. One of I think the strongest debuts I've ever heard in my life, and their music has been consistently good across the board. And I think with that. When you're so good from out the gate, I do like a progression story. I, I do like to commit to things or become fans of things when you can throw me off or when it's interesting. Uh, and of course, their concept has always been interesting. I think why I am attached now is... One, I think the lyrical aspect of basically telling you to run... I'm like a moth to a flame. You tell me to run uh, away, I want to run closer. And so I think there's something about that that kind of draws me in. I think that's a very interesting concept to be going for in general, uh, as well as this move to, once again, Bittersweet, I think could have been a great, strong title track. And for them to make such a, by the way, out there uh, epic performance video, I think it really, really... It tells me more about the group's color and tells me more about their confidence um, and and uh, their message. And I think that's really, really cool. And so, um, oh, man, I'm going to be going into this listening party ooh, with a different level of excitement. <sighs> Guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to the Bittersweet Performance music video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hey, maybe consider subscribing over here, checking out our other reactions up there, and have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you guys. Bye.